Alex Broadhurst usually spends his time on the ice at the BMO. But Monday, he took a trip to Risa Middle School as part of the school day kickoff. The kids at the school were excited to see the hog outside of his natural habitat, and we caught up with Alex to get his take on returning to school. It was a lot of fun. I mean, the kids were very, uh, very lively, asking good questions and stuff. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was, uh, no, it was good coming back, uh, seeing old memories and stuff, seeing what kids are doing, and seeing the new technology in, in school these days is unbelievable. The school day kickoff helps promote the ice hogs workbooks for educational purposes. Each student at several schools has been given a workbook to complete. Each book is filled with interactive learning that's tailored toward hockey and specifically the ice hogs. In exchange for a completed workbook, the students will be rewarded with a ticket to the hogs January 15th game versus the Abbotsford Heat at 11 a.m. Alex recognizes yes, that this isn't great. just a chance for the kids to get out of school. It's also a chance for the Ice Hogs to pick up a few new fans. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I'm definitely trying to get kids interested in, uh, in coming out to games. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, uh, we have a good team this year, and I advise everyone to come to come see a game. And the more, uh, the more we get into the community, I think, is, uh, is good, and the more kids see that we're here, it's good. Alex was able to meet a large number of students in his time at the school and took a few moments out to sign a few autographs and even show off his hockey talents for the gym class during their floor hockey unit. The kids were interested and eager to learn about the new rookie Ice Hog and asked him a few questions while he was touring the school. Um, is it hard to play hockey? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty hard. If you don't start it out at a young age, it's pretty tough to be where we are now. As uh, as we come. So, yeah. How long have you been playing hockey? Uh, I was on the ice my first time when I was three years old. So it's a uh, yeah, a long time. Is it cold? It's actually not cold, believe it or not. All those, all the fans and all the equipment here, pretty actually hot on the ice. So, but when you play outside, it's obviously really cold. Yeah. What is one of your embarrassing moments? Wow. <laughs> Probably when I was younger, I had scored on my own net. Um, just I, I don't even I, I don't really remember much about it, but I just know I went down and scored on my own goalie. So. How much goals did you make? I have four this year so far. Uh, we're pretty good. Actually, we're in second place in the conference right now. Right? The teachers were also interested to see Alex giving his own words of wisdom for the kids about nutrition. Can't tell you how important it is to eat healthy, and uh, even for school, I mean. Eating healthy breakfast every day to help your brain uh, function in the morning. It's, uh, you're a lot brighter during the day. Very important. But even with the day off, Alex knew he had to stay focused for the game coming up. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was a tough loss. I don't, I don't think we, uh, we played bad. I think we played pretty good. Uh, obviously, we lost three in a row right now, so uh, we just got to be hungry. We got to work harder, play more intense, and, and try to come up with a win. When all was said and done, it seemed that the kids just may have a new favorite player on the Ice Hogs, and maybe even a new role model. For Ice Hogs TV, I'm Brian Toster.